Hi there, I'm Anne Marie Mahoney and this is News Now. I'm here in the beautiful Town Hall Auditorium at the farewell party for Adam Dash, who is retiring from the select board. This is a celebration of everything that he's accomplished in six years, and I'm looking around at department heads and department members and committee members, and we're all here just to appreciate him and what he did while he was on the select board. Adam Dash, first of all, Adam, uh, congratulations on your retirement from the select board. Um, really um, sad to see you go. Um, and it's been a real honor and privilege for me to serve with you this term, the prior terms. I keep on coming back, don't I? So uh, anyway, um, uh, just a few things about Adam. Uh, it has been an honor and privilege to serve from him. And I've said this to him privately as well. I've learned a great deal from Adam. You know, we all sort of serve in a certain way. And what I learned from Adam is that actions speak louder than words. Now, you can't just say that you support certain individuals within our community. You have to show action. That's what I've learned from you, Adam. And the things that I think we've done together throughout the years and proving to this community and the folks that feel marginalized um, because of your guidance and leadership, uh, I think we sort of lifted them up. So thank you for that, Adam. It's been a real pleasure. Uh, we've also accomplished a lot together. I mean, Adam sort of listed a number of things that we were involved with, beginning with the pool when he ran the pool campaign and a number of other things as well. So he has served remarkably well an exemplary member of our select board and will remember it as such in his two, in his two full terms. Uh, and I think the community owes him a huge debt of gratitude. And what, one thing I, I learned very early on in serving with Adam is that every decision he made, he's very detailed, he takes notes on his yellow pad, if you've noticed, uh, he writes it down. Lawyer. He is a lawyer, of course, yeah. <laughs> is that I always felt that even when we disagreed, and it wasn't often, it, it was r rare that we disagreed on issues, um, he always made decisions that he thought was best for the community, never ever for political gain. And that was remarkable because I think it's difficult times to serve that way when you have supporters sort of leaning, leaning in on things. You know it's not the right thing for the community, but your supporters are saying you need to vote this way. I always thought that Adam, I always felt that Adam did things that was for the best interest of our community and our community has benefited from that. So Adam, on behalf of the select board and on behalf of my, myself as a resident and all of those here today, I want to thank you for your extraordinary service as a member of the select board and all the years that you served. Uh, we're going to give you a little break before we start assigning you to like a dozen committees. I have so many ideas in mind, but I know you're going to take a break from everything. But I know how you are and how you feel and the passion that you feel for things here in Belmont, for the state, and a national level. I know you'll remain involved. So again, Adam, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, I would just like to add, not only do I agree with everything that Mark just said, but uh, you know, I met Adam some years ago when he started on the Warren Committee, and I think it's a model for how you know, all residents should view serving this town, because starting the Warren, and even before, I didn't know Adam when he was on the zoning board, so his history of service in a variety of capacities goes back a long way, and progressing up the ranks from Zoning board, warrant committee, select board, I, I think is something where people who feel that they have an ability to contribute to the town in a thoughtful, considered way, as Adam does, I think is just a model for what other people should consider if, when they look around and say, what's going on in Belmont? How can I make it better? I think Adam's path is, is a signal for what you can do to make things better. So Adam, thank you very much for your career, I, I don't want to say retirement, but I would say transition to a new role, and I uh, look forward to that. I have a couple in mind. <laughs> um, on behalf of the staff, I just wanted to thank Adam um, for the tremendous amount of support um, that he gives on a day-to-day -day basis. I, I know the staff has really enjoyed working with you. Um, we have seen the tough decisions that you've had to make, and I know personally just the, the support you've given me on my uh, bad days um, has been really appreciate it and that tr tr um, trickles down to the staff and um, just wanted to say thank you on behalf of them. Thanks. My turn. Yes. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Well, you're all here so you got to listen to me now, right? Uh, you know, well, you know, as I fade from the, the present to the past, I have had a chance to reflect and I know that I, I made the right decision not to seek re-election, but I will miss working with all of you. 
Uh, it's been a privilege of a lifetime to serve this community, and I'm reminded of it every day in the, in the kind words I've received since my announcement that I was leaving the board. Uh, I want to thank those with whom I served on the board. I mean, uh, Jim Williams, Tom Caputo, who was here earlier but had to leave, obviously Mark, Roy. We've certainly governed through interesting times. Um, I also want to thank town staff, which starts with Patrice Garvin, of course. She's a skilled town administrator and has been a great person to work with. All department heads and staff, uh, who are too numerous to list by name, they're the best. The residents of this town need to know they're being served by talented, dedicated public servants. I also want to thank my campaign colleagues who got me here, I mean, Ellen Schreiber, who's here, uh, Ralph Jones, Sarah Masucci, you know, Peter Dezikas, Mary Lewis, David Zipkin, and many, many others. I remember in 2016, sitting around my kitchen table with Sarah and Ellen, and they're like, why do you want to run? And I went off for about an hour, an hour and a half, and they took notes. And then two weeks later, they came back, okay, here are the themes for your campaign, and here's what you're going to say. And I'm like, all right, so off we go. Um, you know, but as I go, I do want to give some advice whether you want to hear it or not. Uh, first, please be aware of historically marginalized groups in town. And Mark did touch on this. Often I'm the only town official at various cultural events and demonstrations held by various groups. And the town needs to make sure that there's representation going forward. Secondly, I'd say keep an open mind on matters until all presentations and public comments have been heard. It's fine to come into a meeting with an idea of what should be decided, you know, but digging into a position with no possibility of change negates the whole public meeting process and does not foster public confidence in our boards, committees, and departments. Lastly, I want to remind you of my three rules when I first became select board chair in 2018. One, no drama. Two, be respectful of each other. Three, don't waste anyone's time. I hope you can all adopt those rules in your work with the town, and I can say it would be appreciated by those with whom you interact. And I want to leave you with this poem. You know, once I sat at the table and supped on the power that comes from the vote, I like to think I acted with and without a mask and inhaled the ideas that finished the task. My political part-time sentence is over. So thank you for coming today, and thank you for the honor of working with you all.